The latest phase of the Lyndon Pendling International Airport is now officially open. Delivering remarks at the opening ceremony was Minister of Transport and Aviation Glennis Hannah Martin, who called it a significant platform for the expansion of our economy. The Bahamas of the future is inhabited by dreams that could not have been fathomed by Sir Lyndon's generation, or indeed our generation. Our task in this generation is to ensure that the tools needed to implement these future dreams are present and accessible. Our task is to lay the groundwork for the most preposterous dreams of our children and our children's children. Built at a cost of $83.5 million, the new 105,000 square foot terminal brings the same sophistication to family island travelers as those departing from the international terminal completed in phase two. Minister Hannah Martin says that this project represents total bohemianization. All of the foreign contract workers were hired with the understanding that they would have to pass their skills on to a Bahamian understudy a transfer of technology. This policy ensured the sustainability of both the work and the worker. Indeed, this type of policy, which ties infrastructural development to human development, must be implemented across the board. If there is a mega development to be built in this country, then Bahamians should be trained in high-rise construction after the project is complete. If they are understanding, they should come out of that train. Bahamians should have the capacity to meet not only national needs. Bahamians should have the capacity not only to meet national needs, but also to access the plentiful opportunity in the burgeoning global economy. We must become We must become the subjects and not the objects of our economy. For the Tourism Today Network, I'm Gina Seeley.